you've ever been stuck at home wanting to go to the range but you can't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Anyhow, you're probably stuck at home just like everybody else right now because of the whole coronavirus thing, right? So I'm noticing huge influx, even kind of before this, of both really high profile people and just, you know, even, even not high profile people from the gun industry and just, just shooters in general using airsoft for training. And I know I've kind of tapped on this, pro, well, I guess, idea or this um, topic before, especially with Travis Haley. Um, but uh, I guess now more than ever, it's really kind of showing its, its stars, really. Um, and of course, because there's so many new gun owners out there, people just buying guns, like panic buying guns, because, you know, they don't know anything and they, they just they want a gun for protection and it's kind of falls onto us of the existing gun community to kind of educate those people because they're going to be part of the community anyway so might as well show them the right way and one of the best training tools especially right now is airsoft especially because these people are getting the firearms but not having the ability to go train at a range or practice in a lot of places like ranges are closed so airsoft is a really really great way to kind of fill that gap and i'm seeing more dudes like uh, mike the great and kawa and of course halo strategic and core vision training and all these groups from everywhere across the united states using airsoft to train as a kind of almost like a gap filler between dry fire and straight up using like live rounds at the range kind of somewhere in between because it's a little bit more engaging than just your normal dry fire because you're actually you know, connecting with the target um, and getting feedback and kind of working through all the mechanics and everything but obviously it's not quite the same as firing a live weapon so just to kind of show you what I have what I've been using to train um, I've been using the Elite Force G19X of many of the things that I have um, to do a lot of my drills with super happy with this gun um, very reliable I get a pretty good amount of rounds out of each magazine I've got my Surefire X300, um, this thing is X300U, I don't know, yeah, X300U on this bad boy, um, so all about that peanut butter and tannadized life, um, but this is a really great training platform, simple, kind of stock lock kind of configuration, I have it in a Safari Land holster that I've been running and really been enjoying, I have like technically two holsters, but you know, same mount and whatnot, um, but yeah, this one I just, I love running drills with, with this holster setup, and then for concealed carry, I use the Haley Strategic Incog, with, especially with that extra mag caddy. makes a huge, huge difference having that mag caddy because then I could practice basically doing my reloads after drawing from concealment, engaging the target, doing a reload, and engaging again. So it's cool because now I can practice both like kind of like everyday carry kind of lifestyle stuff and I can practice like all with all my cool gear and stuff with the rifle and everything, or just practicing rifle and pistol transitions with airsoft. Uh, when it comes to the rifle, what I've been using are the line of PTS gas blowback rifles. Um, and I also have used the, the ERG or AG3 line, depending if you're going by KWA nomenclature or classic PTS nomenclature. Um, and the, or the GBLS DAS gun uh, is really, really cool. Um, that is an electric, a uh, blowback rifle it just it's definitely on the high end but it's super super cool uh, but I feel like for this kind of training the GBB does strike a very unique balance because it kind of has that very explosive nature you're not really waiting for gears to turn to get the shot off so things just seem much snappier with the GBB um, Personally, uh, what I have here is a basically custom PTS rifle. It has the Mega Arms upper that takes the standard barrel nut, Fortis Rev2 rail system. I've got a Haley sling and a Haley sling mount on here. It's got the compact grip, compact stock from PTS. Just got a regular red dot sight on here. Um, basically a mini scout up here, uh, M lock vertical grip. Pretty straight up setup, you know, and PTS makes a couple different rifles. The Radian Model 1 is definitely one of the cooler ones because it has the 8 act, the ambidextrous dual action catch, which, if you get really good with that, man, you speed your reloads even faster than just the new way that I learned how. And even though I haven't hit a flat range too often, the last time was maybe like the beginning of this month, man, I'm telling you, dry fire and com in combination with airsoft has made my actual shooting so much better in a surprisingly fast amount of time. 
So I'm basically getting more bang for my buck by using Airsoft to train because the gas and the ammo is super cheap and people aren't panicked buying that right now, so you can easily get it. Um, so I can shoot with my rifles, shoot with my handguns and whatnot uh, and be good to go. And then by the time I get to using live ammunition, uh, I've kind of covered a lot of my bases for that training, so I'm not really wasting as much ammo doing that same those same drills and really working on refinement at that point instead of kind of like trying new things and stuff and airsoft is a super safe way to try new shit especially like with concealed carry stuff if you haven't done concealed carry training before with a live weapon 110 percent recommend you try it with airsoft to get used with the motions and whatnot so you're comfortable then you graduate to the live gun i mean sometimes you kind of get thrown in the situation you just running with it anyways but really good way of using airsoft to kind of get acquainted to that so a lot of great benefits and on top of that of course we've always talked about like force on force and stuff like that and that's kind of been known and of course another big shout out to travis haley for the airsoft x training video they did way back in the day because i, I can't really mention that video enough because that kind of set the bar for the industry professionally looking at airsoft as a viable training tool and kind of all the progress that has happened since then is kind of built on that. So a lot of people are using it for training. It's cheap. I mean, Amtac training, uh, Amtac shooting. Bill Rapier uses it for his force and force in his classes and stuff. Great way to train. And more than ever right now, you guys are all stuck at home. You can't get to the range. So it doesn't matter if it's a couple cans, a couple paper targets, some metal targets or anything. It doesn't matter what it is or if it's a couple knockdowns in your garage. This is a perfect way to get some training right now for cheap and really get get your money's worth in the long run, to be honest. Um, so a lot of people are opening their eyes to that. So I wanted to kind of expose you guys to that, see some of the stuff that I've been doing. And one of the reasons why now is better time than ever to start using airsoft for training to kind of fill in that gap between dry firing and the, and the range and then force on force. Um, better time than ever. So. If you guys have any questions, drop in the comment below whatever guns you guys are using or what guns you guys have questions about. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, social media. Keep sharpening that sword. This is Spartan117GW. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.